Would you like to be able to get free, easy touchdowns in Madden 23? Well, if that sounds good to you, make sure to watch this video because I'm about to break down a glitch that shows how to do that. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Duke back here from SportsGamers.com and in today's Madden 23 tip video, I'm going to show you guys how to glitch out the defense for free, easy touchdowns. Now, we all know defensively the meta is blitzing with man coverage and this is going to work very well against that, but the best thing about this is it's also going to work if the defense tries to make adjustments and not even strictly play all out man coverage. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to be looking at this gun type formation. You can find it in a few different books. In this video, I'm in the Washington offensive playbook, which is one of the best playbooks in the game. Now, the only thing I'm going to recommend here is that you make sure that the receiver is on the outside are fast. We're typically going to do this to the wide side of the field. So in this situation, we want to make sure that our outside right receiver is our fastest receiver. I mean, you don't need anything super, super fast, but I will say the faster, the better. Now, typically, or honestly, you could do this from any play, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this from bench, okay? Bench is one of the best plays in the game, and what I'm about to show you guys is about to make it even better. So... You could do this against, like I said, any of the meta Ds. We'll kind of look at a few of them. But let's look at Nickel over, over Storm Brave first. So, you know, most people that run this defense, they're going to just pinch their entire defense and bring the safety down the box and use him kind of like this. Now, what we're going to do in here is we want to do this, like I said, to the wide side of the field. So I'm going to move the ball back and a little bit to the left hash. So the right side is the wide side. As I do this, just a quick reminder, guys, I do free Madden 23 tip videos, I do gameplay videos, I do news on my channel, daily Madden 23 uploads. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're really rocking with me, guys, comment on the video. Literally any comment will help me out a lot in the YouTube algorithm, be able to continue to do these free videos for you guys. But most importantly, smash that like button. Let's try to get the 300 likes on this video. And if we do, I'll post another crazy glitch. So look. This is the defense, it's over Storm Brave. Now, we're gonna block the running back here, but you kind of have to be careful about blocking the running back. You have to know who the running back is assigned to. Um, and in this case, we, we know he's pretty much assigned to the user, so that's fine. But if you were to block the running back and he was assigned like a CPU safety, that safety could potentially get in the middle of the field, which the way we're gonna do this is not a huge deal, but you do wanna make sure you know who the running back is assigned to to determine if you want to block him or not. So really all I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag the tight end to get him out of the way and I'm going to streak this outside receiver right here um, on the wide side of the field. This is the key receiver. So we're going to end up having a corner out to the left, a drag, and a streak. Now what we're going to do is we're going to next motion this receiver to the inside and snap the ball right when he gets to that tackle. Kind of like right there. And as you guys can see, what ends up happening is that that DB... He slides to the outside, so we're able to get an easy lob up over the top. I highly recommend checking out SportsGamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content for Madden 23. I have offensive and defensive ebooks, schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Vault to keep you guys ahead of the game. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This is the best Madden membership anywhere on the net, the best content at the best price. You get access to the entire site for only $24.99. This means all of our eBooks, all of our Madden Vault tips, plus you even get access to our meta reports and our exclusive VIP members only community. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well for you guys that are interested in that. See you at sportsgamers.com. If you're serious about winning more games, I will post a link in the description as well as in the comments. Now, my receiver here, he's like 92-ish speed on regs, or three at the most. The corners, they're about, you know, they're not super fast either. But, you know, you, you imagine doing this in mud with like a Calvin Johnson, um, you know, a really good receiver. You know, you should be able to get a touchdown off of this, as you guys can see. So the glitch basically happens is when you motion him, the DB that's manned up on him, he slides to the outside, giving up a free release to the streak. See, so he's just able to run right by him. And like I said, if this was a better receiver, he probably would have got an extra yard or two of separation, which instead of just being a big lob over the top, we could have racked it for a touchdown. As is, though, that's a huge play. That's going to set up very nicely for an easy score. Um, we can show you guys that you know a few more times. Just so you can see it's very consistent. 
it's you know it's gonna be something that you're gonna do every time. So we just block the running back because we know the safety is manned up to him. We streak this receiver and we drag the tight end. We just drag the tight end to get him out of the way. I don't want him interfering with this route. Next thing we do is we motion this guy in, and that's what allows that DB to slide to the outside, which is what allows us to throw the lob up over the top. And again, our receiver is just like a half step too slow here to be able to rack it for a touchdown, but still that's an easy catch. Now, the best thing about this is that, you know, most people would think to counter this by just putting the DB in a deep zone. Like, that's what a lot of people do. Like, if they see that we got man-to-man -man glitches or whatever, routes to just be man, they'll just, like, still use their man blitz, but they'll put their DB in a zone. Now, again, because we're motioning this guy, that's what's causing the man defender to slide to the outside so we get that easy release. But if you put him in a deep zone they might think, well, he's probably no longer going to slide, so it should be able to stop that. So let's see what happens. Um, and you're going to see it, it still works. Now, he might not slide, but what happens this year is with those deep zones, that's even open by like 10 yards right there. We got even more separation. So when you have a deep third like that, the streak is just going to fly right by him, and that's going to be a free touch. And notice how the, the third, he doesn't even turn around until long after we're gone. You can just lob deep thirds like that in these types of formations, these tight formations against streaks. This is going to work all day long against that. Um, this is not something you can you can try to do to stop this glitch. As you guys can see, it's still going to kill it. So the nice thing about doing this from a play like bench is that we're able to have another read on the play. So like even if you know they do a decent job of guarding the actual motion glitch with the streak, I mean, you still are using a play with a really nice corner out to attack man coverage that should be able to get open. Now, there are different adjustments you can do from certain man defenses that will cause that guy not to slide out like that when you motion him. Um, but, you know, from the majority of the time, that's going to be something that's going to work. Now, in order to counter this, I actually did the counter right there in case you guys didn't see what I did. I actually put my auto alignment on base. When you put your auto alignment on base, the guy's not going to slide, which is actually really, really good. So you guys know how to counter this. So if we put it on base and then we just go ahead and pitch our defense the same way we were just doing, you'll see that the guy, he no longer slides. So when we do the motion, he stays at home. So that's actually the way to counter it. But then you're just giving up the corner route. As you guys can see, that's basically another potential touchdown. So in case you run up against someone doing this glitch to you, in order to stop that guy from motion sliding, you can just put your auto alignment on base, and then that will be able to slow it down. So, I mean, yes, like if we have that on base, you can't do the motion to make that guy slide out, but you still can hit him with the corner out. Now, you guys can see, as soon as I put it back on the fault, he's going to do the slide when he's in man coverage. And when he does the slide, it's over with. So you guys can see, I put it back on the fault, we're going to do the streak drag, do the little motion. You guys can see now, once again, he just moves to the outside, and we're just able to throw it up right by him. Again, for this time, a little bit more separation. Should have been a touchdown. The guy's just not that fast. So this is really, really annoying because, like I said, this is bench is potentially arguably the best play in the game, right? It's one of the best plays in the game with these quick corners and quick outs from tight formations. They're a headache to defend. And now you guys can see, like, now we can have a potential motion glitch for a touchdown, too, on top of it. Really, really tough. So, guys, the counter is, though, putting your auto alignment on base. If you do put it on base and run these man-to-man -man blitzes, the guy's not going to do that anymore. But as you guys can see, we still do have answers if they do that by being able to have a play, like I said, with a very, very nice corner out. Now, another thing you could do on this to make this even more annoying is to just do a simple wheel route out of the backfield. So I kind of like to do that too. Um, if I feel like they're getting too concentrated on, uh, you know, the corner route with their user maybe, like maybe that they know the corner route is the other thing they have to worry about so they just put this guy over here. Let's just assume this is the user and he just runs over there, right? Well, you know, when, when they do that, that's when I like to just put the running back out of the backfield on a wheel route. You can quick pass it and that could again be another potential touchdown. So this play right here with this motion glitch just absolutely destroys man coverage. You're going to force them to use base alignment, but even when they do that, you guys can see there's other answers on this play other than lobbing the streak over the top. I really do like this because, like I said, most people will 
just think, oh, like I can just go ahead and put my safety in a deep blue, an outside third, or sorry, the corner and an outside third so he doesn't get glitched anymore. But again, as you guys are gonna see here, that does nothing. The third, you'll just be able to run right by him. He's not gonna defend it at all. And that's gonna be even an easier touchdown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. This is one of the best ways to glitch out man coverage this year. Most people will not even know to put their auto alignment on base. But not only did I show you guys how to do it, I showed the counter too. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button. Until next time, it's Duke.